Okay folks, so the, the end goal here is we're going to create a text expander snippet that will essentially when you use it will pop open a little dialog box. You're going to fill in some fields and then that's going to format and send an email or complete an email for you to send to whichever email address you want. And then we're going to have the mal.app on the Mac process that email and create an action in OmniFocus. Now, why would you might want to do this? Well, a lot of the time I find that, you know, you can be near a machine that you can send an email to yourself or, or in the, you know, if you want to have somebody else send you an email and you can actually have that then formatted and pushed straight into OmniFocus as an action. You know, a lot of the time, you know, you might not have a device with you that has OmniFocus like the iPhone, for example, you might not have it with you. So this is a way to push that action to OmniFocus uh, via email. So there's some required applications for this. There's Text Expander from smileonmymac.com, OmniFocus of course from omnigroup.com, and the mal.app which comes as standard with OS X. So the steps that we do here is first of all we're going to create a rule using OmniFocus to tell mal.app what to do with the email when it hits the inbox we're going to have it process that email, push the action over to OmniFocus, and then delete the email. The next step will create the snippet in Text Expander, and then we'll start emailing tasks from anywhere at any time. And then finally, we can sit back and smile at how clever you all are for doing this and getting it working. So in Text Expander, what we're taking advantage of here is this feature called the fill in. And as you can see from the formatting there, basically that name there can be anything we want. And you'll see as we go through and I set this up, the basically I use it as a prompt to tell you what to put in each of the boxes in the dialog that appears. So the complete example here in Text Expander, and this is essentially the snippet content, and I'll provide it in the uibuzz.com post with this video so that you can copy and paste it into Text Expander. I'll also provide the snippet so that if you want you can just download it and double click it. Um, but I wanted you to see it here so that's what the completed line is going to look like in the Test Expander snippet. Okay so here we are in OmniFocus and I have this empty project here that you can see called Make a Cake. And there's nothing in there at the moment and if I go over to the context and I click on errands you'll see that that's empty there too. So we have those ready to go. Now I'm just going to switch back to projects. So the first thing we need to do here is bring up the preferences in OmniFocus, which is just going to be the command key and the comma, and that's just going to bring up the preferences there. And we're on the Mal. We've clicked on Mal here, as you can see in the menu, in the bar. And we're going to click on this Add Mal rule to create OmniFocus actions. So the default works just fine. Um, but I actually have one that I like to use and you can specify anything you want in here. I like to have it so that a subject starting with and I can specify something in here and essentially what it's going to do is if mal.app sees a email come in and the subject line starts with whichever, whatever we specify in the box here it's going to kick off this rule that OmniFocus is going to create for us and deal with the email. So one that I like to use is just a greater than sign and just use OMF and that way I know that you know it's very unlikely I'm ever going to get an email that has that as the subject line um, that I don't want to have processed by OmniFocus. So that's why I like to specify my own there. And so once that's done all we need to do now so that is actually now ready um, and just leave everything else as the default basically it's going to use any of the allowed email addresses which is by default will be the ones on your system and it's going to process this rule so I'm just going to close that now okay okay so now we're going to switch over to text expander and set up the snippet because we now have the mal.app configured ready to deal with the incoming email so the last thing to do is build the snippet and what we're going to do is you can see that I have the file here that contains the snippet on the desktop I'm just going to bring up Text Expander here. So you can see at the moment it's not actually on the system here. So what I'm going to do is just minimize that. And like I say, I'll provide this file so you know you can do it this way if you want and save some time. Just going to double click that file and that's actually going to put it into Text Expander for us. You can see we have this new category here, this new group, uibuzz.com. And if I expand that, here is the, the snippet. There's that 
one single line string there that you can see that you saw in the slides. Um, like I say, you know, go through there and you can play with it however you want it to be. And I've given this an abbreviation of EMOFTSK. So basically anytime you type that, Text Expander is going to fill in this string up here. But what it's going to do first, because we have this fill it here, is going to bring up a little dialog box for us to fill in the details, which is exactly you know, what we want to do. That's the goal of the task here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hide Text Expander because that's set up ready to go. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so the last remaining thing now is to basically start emailing actions to ourselves or have other people send them to us. So all you need to do is open up a new email, put an email address in to send it to, give it a subject line that's going to match that string that we put in the rule preferences in OmniFocus, which was the greater sign and OMF, and then go down to the content of the email, and we're going to now use that abbreviation we set up in Text Expander which is E-M-O-F-T-S-K. It's going to pop up this little dialog box for us that we had it create. And you can see that, you know, it's got the, I've put in here basically little prompts to tell us which to put in each one. So the task, the action is going to be buy some sugar. We basically put in what we put in that slide. I'll hit the tab key, go to the project. The project is make a cake. The context is errands. It's due today. If you remember from the slides, we think it's going to take one hour. And then finally for a note, we want to buy a big bag. Now, once we're finished, we're just going to click OK. And there you go. Text Expander puts that in an email for us. You can put as many as you want in here. We're just going to use one for this example. But you can put a whole bunch of them in the same email. And when you hit the Send key, it's going to go away. And when it comes into your email inbox in mal.app, it's going to process this email, send the action off and put it in OmniFocus and then delete the email for you. So we'll just hit send. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to OmniFocus. And as you can see, nothing at the moment, we're waiting for that email to come in. And so now we have the, the new email has come in, the mail.app has processed it and deleted the email and sent it over to OmniFocus and created this task for us. As you can see, here's the action, it's buy some sugar. It's got the context of errands, it's due today, and if I click on this little thing here, you can see that it attached the note, which is by a big bag. So that's really how simple it is, that's pretty straightforward to use. Once you've done all the hard work once, all you need to do is just fill in that little panel and send them off to yourself. You know, we can go over to context here, I'll show you it in errands, and you can see, you know, it appears in the correct context. Be sure to go to uibuzz.com for more videos and follow us on Twitter at uibuzz.